The calendar app on your iPhone is a super powerful yet very underrated app. Many people do not use the calendar app to its full potential. In today's video, I'll show you how to start using the calendar app effectively if you're new to it and how to start using it even better if you already are using it. By the end of this video, you'll be managing your time like a pro and wondering how you ever planned your day without it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. Let's start with something basic but powerful, adding multiple calendar accounts. Did you know that you can add multiple work and personal calendar accounts on your Apple calendar, yet manage them independently and effectively? On your iPhone, go to Settings, Apps, Calendar, Calendar Accounts, Add Account, and here you can add your work email account like Google Workspace or Outlook and your personal Gmail and Apple ID or iCloud account. Each account can bring its own calendars. Once the accounts are added, open the calendar app, tap calendars at the bottom and you will see each calendar listed by account. You can toggle each one on or off. When you create a new event, you will see a field to choose which calendar, I mean which account the event should go into. How I would like to use this, all my work related events go to my Google Workspace account, all my personal events go into my iCloud account and all my family related events go into my personal Gmail account. Next, for clarity, you can give each calendar a unique color, maybe blue for work, red for personal, green for family and purple for your content planning. To do this, in the calendar list, tap the I next to the calendar's name pick a color and tap done. A simple visual cue. Now when you glance at your week view, you will instantly know which bucket each event belongs to. It's such a small change, but once you start using it, you will wonder how you ever manage without it. Now, the next one is for power users. Did you know that you can integrate your Apple reminders directly into calendar? When you're creating a new event in the calendar app, select the reminder here. Now you can fill in the details, date, time, which list it needs to go. And when you click on details, you will find even more options like if the app needs to remind you based on location or when messaging a person. You can even add an image to this reminder. Now your reminder tasks are visible both in the calendar app and the reminder app. You can mark it complete from either apps. So instead of switching between apps to check your schedule and your tasks, you can see everything in one clean timeline. It's perfect for those who like to plan their day hour by hour, like scheduling a meeting along with preparing reminder for the meeting. Okay, now let's tweak some settings most people never even touch, but they make a big difference. First, if you travel or work across time zones, turn this on. Go to Settings, Apps, Calendar, Time Zone Override. This locks your events to a specific time zone like your home city, so your events won't jump around when you land somewhere new. No more accidental showing up early or late. Second, if you are tracking dates based on cultural calendars, for example, Tamil or Korean or Chinese calendars, you can display them right inside Apple Calendar. Head to Settings, Apps, Calendar, Alternate Calendars and choose the one you prefer. It's a small touch but super useful if you celebrate traditional holidays or follow regional schedules. Third, make sure to enable show week number under the same settings menu and you will now see which week of the year you're in. Perfect for those who organize projects weekly or need to sync schedules with clients who use week codes like week 42. Fourth, set your default calendar in settings. For example, under calendar settings, default calendar, I've set my work calendar as the default calendar. Why you want to do this is, 
When you add an event from Siri or other apps, it automatically gets created in the calendar account you set it right now. Before we move on, I want to quickly thank Brilliant for sponsoring this part of the video. Brilliant.org is an online learning platform that teaches math, science and computer science in a very interactive way. Instead of just reading or watching videos, you solve problems step by step like puzzles and learn by doing. Over the last couple of months, I've shared bits of my journey using Brilliant and at this point, I feel like I can give you a more well-rounded take on the app itself. What I really appreciate about Brilliant is just how flexible it is. There's such a wide range of courses from foundational math and logic and all the way up to computer science, AI and data science. So no matter what level you're in, you can find something that challenges you without feeling overwhelming. The app itself is super clean and easy to use. I can jump into a 10 minute lesson on my phone during breaks or spend more time on my laptop if I want to go deeper. And the best part is that you are not just passively watching lectures. Every lesson is interactive with visuals, puzzles and instant feedback that actually help concepts stick. It honestly feels like a better way to learn, small steps, hands-on and a little addictive once you start keeping up the streaks. And whether you're a student, a professional or just someone curious about how things work, there's always a new path to explore. If you want to check it out, head to Brilliant. I'll leave a link in the description. You can start learning for free and if you upgrade, you'll also get 20% off the annual premium plan with my link. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, back to more features. This one's a gem, natural language input. Instead of creating a calendar event with explicit date, time and details, just type something like brunch with friends on Sunday 11 a.m. at the cottage bottle. The calendar app automatically understands and creates the event with all the right details. You can even add repeat events by typing yoga every Tuesday at 6 a.m. And it'll create a recurring event automatically. It's fast, intuitive and feels a lot like talking to an assistant who actually understands you. This one is so underrated. When you add a location to your event, scroll down, tap travel time. Now click on location and here select the preferred transport mode. Apple Calendar will now factor in real-time traffic and alert you when it's time to leave. So if you have a meeting in downtown at 3 p.m. and there is heavy traffic, you will get a leave now alert. No more arriving late. You will get alerts and access maps right from here. It basically makes your calendar app feel like a personal travel assistant. Siri is actually amazing for managing your calendar. It makes it so easy and highly productive. Try saying, add an event called grocery run tomorrow at 5 p.m. or move my 2 p.m. meeting to 3.30 p.m. It can also show you your schedule when you say, what's on my calendar on Friday? This is perfect when you're driving, cooking or just too busy to open the app. You can share an entire calendar with your family, partner or team. For example, you have a family calendar for school pickups and appointments or a content calendar shared with your video editor. This works with iCloud calendars the best. To do this, in your calendar app, tap here to open your calendars. On your iCloud calendar, tap on the i icon and add the person you want to share it with under the share with section. Everyone sees the update in real time, so when you add a new event, they get notified automatically. It's like a mini Slack, but for your schedule. This next tip is a lifesaver for forgetful people like me sometimes. You can add multiple reminders for the same event, say one an hour before and another 10 minutes before. Just open the event, tap edit, alert, custom, add another alert. This is especially helpful for big events like client calls, kids school meetings or even flights. No more oops I forgot moment, your iPhone will keep you in check. Instead of just looking at your calendar one day at a time, this layout lets you view 2, 
three or even five days side by side so you can quickly see how your week is shaping up. Especially useful when you have got overlapping meetings, content shoots or family events. To do this, open the calendar app. From the monthly view, click on a date, then click here and select multi-day. It's such a simple view change, but it gives you an instant overview of what's ahead and helps you plan smarter without jumping back and forth between days. Once you start using this, you'll wonder how you ever survived without basic daily view. And here's another super useful feature that most people completely ignore. Invitees. Whenever you create or edit an event, scroll down and tap on Invitees. Here you can type an email address or choose directly from your contacts to invite them. If the person uses iCloud, Gmail or Outlook, they'll receive a proper calendar invitation and when they accept it or decline it, you will see their response right inside your event. This is perfect for scheduling team calls, planning dinners or syncing up with family members. You can even add notes, attach links or set shared alerts so everyone gets notified at the same time. It saves all those endless what time works for you texts. So there you go, 10 hidden iPhone calendar tricks that can genuinely make your life easier. If you learned something new today, don't forget to tap that like button and share it with someone who is always late to everything. They might thank you later. And if you want to cover Apple reminders or shortcut automation in detail, comment below and I'll make a separate video on that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.